deep in the San Bernardino Mountains of California is a small lakeside community of Lake Arrowhead. Lake Arrowhead is well known for its fishing, boating, skiing, dining, and ghosts. This small town has a rough history and its fair share of tragedies and nefarious characters. Located at the entrance of Lake Arrowhead Village, surrounded by 100-year-old cedars and pines, is a hotel built in 1919 by the middle-aged sisters from the Midwest. The sisters called it The Raven. In its long history as a hotel, it has been visited by the likes of John Wayne, Howard Hughes, and Charles Lindbergh. The hotel is now called the Saddleback Inn. It is haunted by the spirit of a little girl and may be the home of many more. This is our investigation. Val and I arrived at the Saddleback Inn late afternoon on Friday. Megan wasn't going to arrive until the following morning. We took a quick look around the hotel and then we checked in. We were excited to get started, so we went directly to room 33 Raven. I took a photo of the front door just to show the name, and this is what I caught. It wasn't long until Valerie started sensing a presence, so we set up the camera upstairs in Megan's room to see if Valerie could communicate. I don't know how much we want to tell uh, Megan about this because uh, she's probably staying in this room. So, and we don't want to freak her out, but what are you feeling in here? I feel Hannah in here. So, and you, you're getting Hannah. Yes. Um, when I feel the presence of a spirit, it, it's a strange feeling to me. I, I feel it first in my heart, in my chest. And it's... It's not like a pain or anything like that. It's just like a heavy heaviness. Like it's it's hard to describe, but it's like someone else. I, I'm trying to breathe for someone else as well, if that makes any sense. And then I get the tingling down my arms. And it's like all the hair on my arms stand up. Yeah. And I don't have any hair on my arms, but that's what it feels like. So, but you, you, you feel it's a child and you feel, I mean, we've already know the name of the child is Hannah. At least that's what we've been told. Yes, it, it is a child. And hi, Hannah. Is this your room? I can feel you in here. She's in here. Neither one of us heard the little girl's voice. It wasn't until we reviewed the evidence that we hear it. Valerie, however, was very aware of her presence. We did an EMF sweep through the cabin, looking for any electromagnetic leakage into the environment from any of the electronics in the cabin. Then we just waited for darkness. Once it was dark, we set up in the upstairs bedroom with the spirit box and the cameras. Are you in here? <laughs> Was that you, Hannah? Is there someone else here? Is there someone here who wishes to speak with us? What is your name? Mm -hmm. 
My name is Valerie, and my husband here is Kevin. Do you like to sing? The spirit box session went on for another 15 minutes with no other responses, so we decided to move it downstairs. This time we brought out the voice recorder and the K2 meter. Hannah, are you down here? Make this light up again, Hannah. We got a picture of you standing here earlier. <laughs> Can you make a noise for us, Hannah? You, you moved the camera and, and it lit up again. I'm going to sit on the floor. Do you like to play patty cake? It just occurred to me, we don't know how old the daughter is, how old Hannah is, because we haven't gotten any information. I don't know if I read it somewhere, or if I'm getting it f a vibe or something, but I'm thinking eight years old. Are you eight years old, Hannah? Was that a yes? You're eight. Light it up twice for yes. It's okay, Hannah. It's not going to hurt you. It's just a light. It's like a game. Do you like to color, Hannah? Would you like us to get you some coloring books and crayons tomorrow? <coughs> no? What do you like to play with? If you say it, it'll pick it up in this voice box right here, and then we can get it for you and bring it here for you to play with. Do you like to play with balls? Maybe a doll? I would like to bring something for you to play with, Hannah. you got to let me know what it would be, though. Maybe a brush and a mirror? While I was videotaping this session with Valerie, I was looking around. I looked at the top of the stairs and I saw something moving. So I turned the camera up as quickly as I could to see if I could catch it. By the time I got there, it was not there anymore. Nothing further happened on this K2 and voice recorder session, so we moved on to the spirit box.
If you try real hard, you can speak to us. <laughs> I'm listening or... I know you're listening, but can you speak with us? Do you want me to bring you a toy? At this point, Valerie starts rocking. This is an indication that she's becoming overwhelmed. It's become obvious over the course of the evening that we have been communicating with more than one spirit. Before this session ends, we receive one last message. So this was our first installment of our ghost investigation at the Saddleback Inn. We wanted to do this as one vlog. It would have been at least an hour long, but um, I am taking a long, long time in order to do this. It's a lot of work. Got to pick the music. Got to listen to all the stuff. Got to do all the editing. And uh, I don't leave them alone. She, he, she never leaves me alone. I keep interrupting. So, especially when I'm trying to record my voice and then she's sitting there going, wah, 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 wah. I'm not, wah, 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 wah. I, I'm singing. So, we know you wanted to see it. We wanted to get you something going. And if at, at this rate, if in order to put up an, the entire vlog, which would have been about an hour long, would have been uh, maybe three more weeks. I only really have the weekends to work on this. Cause well, plus I, it would have taken at least two days to upload. Yeah, it would have taken a long time. Speed. Yeah, just to upload this one tonight is going to take about eight hours. So, but it's it's a good length. I think you'll like it. I I I'm kind of proud of it. So it's got some exciting stuff in it, but there's even more exciting oh, yeah. stuff to come. Yeah, this is this is just the beginning. Just a so. little taste. And we will continue with our regularly scheduled programming tomorrow. <laughs> Thumbs up, guys. We love you all.
but can you tell it, say that for me? Can you tell me your name? If you try real hard, you can speak to us. <laughs> I'm listening. Or? I know you're listening, but can you speak with us? Do you want me to bring you a toy? Thank you. 